Hi guys, welcome to my channel. First things first. So I have an argument here with someone who's behind the camera and you're talking about where should someone wear their watches. So personally I believe if you're wearing your watch on your right hand, it should be facing up like this. Okay? And if you're wearing it on your left hand, it should be facing up. Should be here facing up. Also, I believe females should wear their watches on their left hands and males should wear their watches here. What is your opinion about that? Comment down below and help us solve this serious argument. In today's vlog, we're going to be discussing on ways to utilize or maximally utilize your bed sitter spaces. So I know nearly most of us, if not all of us, have ever lived in a bed sitter, are currently living in a bed sitter, or you know someone who's living in a bed sitter. So let's do this. So in bed sitters, the space is really small. And so you may want to have a specific color theme for the whole house. Not mixing so many colors in the space, make the space feel bigger than it really is. Since when we're having so many colors, you make the place feel complicated and cluttered, which is not a good factor. So having one color palette for your, your bed sitter space is a nice way to make your space feel larger and comfortable. Room dividers. Gone are the days when we used to use curtains to divide our houses. So in this age and era, you should be bold enough to use things like the bookshelves and cabinets to divide your room. That also creates storage space for you to have your stuff. It works well for bed sitters since you have a bunch of books and you can use that space to store your books. You can also use a gallery wall as a room divider. Just have a temporary wall built from maybe cardboard and hang your pictures on it. Allow natural light into your spaces. We tend to make the mistake of buying those very heavy curtains to cover up our windows. But that changes the, uh, the mood of the room since uh, well natural light lit rooms look, <coughs> look better and are perceived to make the space appear larger than it really is. So, it is best to choose curtains that will give your room style and also add natural light into the space instead of just blocking away the great natural light. So you can get shears and other light curtains that will allow more light in rather than those thick heavy curtains. Also, it's important to match your curtains with the color palette of your space just for the space to feel linked connected cozy and bigger create more storage spaces the worst thing you can do to a bed sitter is have it cluttered so it's important to have the hidden storages so for example you can have your bed that has space underneath it or you can purchase furniture that has multi-purpose so you can have a drawer that can be used as a table at the same time it's a space to put your stuff so this will help 
minimize clutter in your space hence make your space just feel bigger of mirrors so you can use mirrors to make your bed sitter appear more spacious when you place a mirror directly opposite a window or, or close to the window it will help you reflect light that comes from outside and make your space feel larger and warmer since you've brought in the natural light from the side also when you place the mirror in your spaces you get to make the room have the illusion that it's bigger than it really is plus an added bonus we all need mirrors in our space just to look at ourselves so yeah mirrors are a must have in visitors to make your space feel cozy and nice of furniture have you ever gone to someone's bed sitter space and you find that they have a six by six bed and uh, the six by six bed has literally occupied three quarter of the space and you just have a small space where you can squeeze yourself to move personally i feel like that is a mistake number one because you don't get to have a space where you can put a seat and when you have when you host visitors they sit on your bed so i hate that a lot so it's important to choose your bed size, putting into account your bed sitter space. So I think it's better to have a, let's say four by six bed and a couch rather than have a big six by six bed in your small bed sitter spaces. So choosing the right type of furniture in your space is a really important factor to consider in your small spaces. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Uh, if you have any more ideas or comments, please leave the leave a comment down below. We'll really appreciate it. Yeah. So, bye. Till next time.